Hello and welcome to this episode of the Nobleman Piper. I'm John and got a special treat for you here today. Missouri Meerschaum pipes. These are probably about the best value in a pipe for the beginner or even the experienced pipe smoker. We're going to talk a little bit about them today. And before we get too far along, this is a Dagner Missouri Meerschaum collaboration pipe filled with Cornell and Deal's Creamer. And today we're tamping the ash with a Custom Cadence Creations tie-dye tamp tool. So, without further ado, let's talk about what we got out here on the table today. We got this, obviously I've spoken this, Dagner Missouri Meerschaum Collaboration Poker Pipe. And I have several pipes here on, on the table. Now, one thing that's kind of cool about a corn cob pipe is just because you start with a corn cob pipe doesn't mean you need to just stay with corn cob pipes. Um, some people start with them. Other people, like me, started out with a nicer briar pipe um, and then just kind of went to the corn cobs. And I really found them to be a genuinely good smoking pipe. Um, I was kind of apprehensive about them at first as a lot of people are, the aesthetic value of it, obviously the cost. Um, but they really, really do smoke good. I don't think they get the credit they, that they deserve. And uh, one cool thing about the corn cob pipes is you can really take something that you just bought, you know, that's just kind of run of the mill, same as every other pipe that came down the line, really turn it into something of your own. Um, pardon me, Midwest sinus issues. This pipe here, this is one of the very first corn cob pipes I ever bought. Now, the shank I had to replace, the shank got a crack in it, and I decided I wanted to replace it, so that's not the original shank. But this bowl's probably had 150 smokes through it at least, it still smokes great. Now, one thing I did was, was I opted for a forever stem to be made for this pipe and they're kind of pricey is about $25 but let me tell you this is a stem that's going to last for life hence the term forever stem so that's eh, kind of a little bit of a modification I guess I I mean I didn't make the stem but it really really helped with the smoking experience at least from from my standpoint I really think it worked out great um, I really like this pipe. I primarily smoke Englishes in it. I got a green. I painted the the band green, so British racing green. So there you go, English. And I, I just think it looks handsome like this. So, it's a great pipe. Now, the rest of these are all pipes that I've had my little fingers on, and uh, I've done various things to them. I've got three of the Mark Twain's. That's a great shape if you want to kind of play around with it. Um, yeah, I kind of bent the stem and I polished I polished the natural pipe out. I, that's really all I did. I bent the stem and you know it was a little bit different than it does stock but it looks great at the same time I think. And uh, Here's one that's a two-tone tan and brown that I did up and, uh, and polished it. It's a really nice pipe. There's one that I did here recently, and I really like it. It's a uh, it's a solid red with the amber stem, and uh, they have it polished out. It really came out real nice. Here's a country gentleman I just did as well, two tone black and red, came out nice as well. Uh, here's here's a pipe that's kind of popular except I put my own bit on her normally I I have a black bit on this but it's got an amber one on it right now this is the uh, what I call the sexy little red devil pipe and this has been really popular people just seem like they can't get enough of it and they really like it so I'm really happy when people like what I make I think it's pretty cool but Missouri mirrors from cord cob pipes are really a great value. If you haven't tried one out, you probably should. Um, those of you who have tried them out, 
most of you probably have more than one. It started with one and ended up a lot more. So obviously you've been happy with, with your purchase and think they're great pipes as I do. So like I said, this is kind of a kickoff video for the channel. Uh, brand new. Um, my very first video I'm posting, we're going to do a lot of cool stuff on the channel. I promise you that. Um, you're definitely going to want to stick around and come back and and like and subscribe and share because we're going to do some cool stuff with pipes that you never thought you would ever see done to a pipe and also have several other hobbies which we might delve into we might not we'll see how it goes so with that i'll say missouri meerschaum pipes are really something you should look into if you haven't already and if you have already you know i said that so we'll catch you next time thanks for tuning in to the nobleman piper